And look, we have transformed Tommy one more time. One more time, yeah, that's right. Actually, it's quite an honor to be to be uh, sitting in for the famous Tommy, Tommy. Williams. Actually, <laughs> one of the guys asked me. He said, "Have you have you seen this?" On he was talking about uh, uh, Jose Callaway, and uh, he said, "I wonder if Tommy knows that's." On. I said, "That is Tommy. <laughs> he is Jose Callaway." He said, "Nah." I said, "Jerry." They're speaking Spanish. I said, that's Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, uh, he has a good time with that. But Tommy, uh, the weekend was rough on Tommy. I bet. Uh, now it was. You he, guys uh, did a live stream on that. We on did, show, and it? we tried out some new transmitters that worked fantastic. The only problem was Tommy brought a little switcher that he said, guarantee it'll work. Well, we burn it up. And, and I told him, I said, that's what you get for bringing that junk down here. And he said, it ain't junk. I gave five dollars for it. Oh, goodness. I mean, I know he gave more than that part, but we was just, we was having a good time between that and the coffee that I was wanting a refund on because I took a drink of it and never tasted anything it tasted so bad in my life. I told him, I said, they must have had that from day one. And Steve Gladwell posted on the side. He said, we don't give refunds on coffee in Alabama. <laughs> so you okay. drink what you get. Drink what you get. Yeah. Drink what you get. Well, I'll tell you what, Jimmy, we got a lot to go over. So uh, we're going to take a quick pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. <laughs> It's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Jimmy, I got a few announcements. Uh, the Fast Showcase is 15th and 16th in Shelbyville this weekend. Uh, Robert Cordner, Rod Schlegel, and Sam Sorrow will mark the cards. And everybody needs a heads up. They have added Class 11A, which is a youth pony class. And here's a new twist. Uh, Easter egg hunt. We got a flyer on it. The Easter egg hunt will be sponsored by Jason and Shanna Hughes, and it's upstairs. Now, what they mean around the top of the ring at the Cal Sonic, and it will start when the show starts Saturday night. Now, that'll so, be a lot of fun. You should participate. They're going to be hunting. I told them, I said, what are they going to do if they turn a bunch of chickens loose up there? <laughs> They'll be hunting them eggs because they got two, I think they said 200 and some odd eggs that they, 260 and they got money hid and all this, prizes. So there'll be kids running everywhere up there having a good time, and really that's what it's all about. Then the 23rd, we will have the spring extravaganza, and it's going to be at the Ag Center, sponsored by Carol Misseldine. Uh, 
it's going to, those funds will go towards the Christmas in July show and it'll all be bunched together. You can call Carol at 919-437-6597. Start, showtime starts at 4 o'clock and David Sisk will mark the cards. And don't forget April 30th, Cancer Society, Walking for Cancer, will, and it will be judged by Chad Williams. There's a lot of things uh, that's happened, and, and one of the sad things is Thursday night, the 14th, in the Blue Ribbon Room, they will have a tribute to Brog, uh, Ben Brogdon, who passed away recently. Uh, he'll be guy. missed. Hey, he'll be missed now. Because he loved the show, loved to get out there. One thing that surprised everybody, uh, the Walking Horse the National Celebration has selected Lee Boyd, Derek Bonner, and Jamie uh, Bradshaw as the judges. Jamie, this is the first time I've, I've seen Lee judge. I have seen her judge once, but I believe this is the first time she's judged at the celebration grounds. So that's going to be good. Other good news is Senator Bill Haggerty has introduced legislation in Washington to protect the Tennessee walking horse, which is badly needed. A lot of, you know, a lot of people don't realize that the walking horse industry, there's over 20,000 jobs in that. It's a 3.2 billion economic impact. So uh, very important that we protect our walking horse. And, and there's a lot of things that's going on that uh, inspection-wise, when it gets outside our DQPs, that's it hurts, it hurts a lot. Yeah, and, and that's kind of been going on for years, and so no telling where we might be if we had not faced those obstacles. Well, the walking horse has proven that it can sustain anything, but we, we've had a lot of talks with different people about when there, there's a difference and an inspector going in to inspect a horse. And then one that's coming in trying to find something. And when they can't, it takes them a long time to inspect a horse. And when they can't, it seems like sometimes they kind of push the integrity and ethical standards to the limit and create something. I mean, we've gone through it before, two cells, you know, three cells, scar, even though you can't see it, it's here because it's three cells thick. Uh, we've gone through it, well, they got an open lesion. Uh, we've got a, and, but you can't see the open lesion. Well, I felt him move. Nobody saw him move, but I felt him move. I mean, just one after another, Coming up in, in this weekend, it got to where they was taking longer and longer to inspect. And I've timed them. Uh, DQP will check a horse 60 to 90 seconds. A VMO normally is twice that long or sometimes longer. And if they, I, I just, it, it's, it's hard. It's kind of like Yoho in Washington stood there and said, that uh, he and Schaefer had witnessed. Who, who the, is this now? These yeah. are senators that, that signed off on the PAST Act. One of them's a Republican, one of them a Democrat. But they said that they had witnessed it. Well, I got news for you. Small animal vets, normally nobody takes a horse to them. You've got your large animal vets, you've got your equine, so on and so forth. Uh, for, so for them to say, hey, we've experienced it, no, nah, you haven't experienced it. You heard what they said and what this group says and that group says. And time after time, it's been proven that some of these groups will lie. They, Are you saying not, that some of the federal D, uh, DQPs, or no, they're not DQPs, they're BMOs, BMOs uh, are not necessarily equine veterans. A lot of them are not. I, I mean, the major. And here's another fact. This is a fact. It's no secret. A lot of those people that inspect for the USDA 
formerly worked with Humane Society. And we've done research on different ones, and in the past, there's several. <laughs> Another thing is this. If they were, they think or they claim they know more about an equine than an equine vet does. In other words, we've got equine vets out here. Well, I just spilled my tea. Uh, we've got equine vets out here that make a living taking care of the horses. Now, they make their living. And it's been said before, most of the USDA inspectors that do have a veterinarian's license are veterinarians with USDA because they could not make it. Sutherland was a prime example. He could not make it in private practice, so he went with the USDA. I'm sure there's a lot of others that have too. So it's, that in itself is a major problem. It's just, uh, it, it's, it's a push. But when you research, you find out that they had a clinic here, they had a clinic there, just like Yoho. Yoho had a clinic that he serviced small animals, cats, dogs. Then he became a senator. So I don't know where his qualification came from. Must have consulted with a cat, you reckon? <laughs> you mean the qualifications <laughs> to become a senator? <laughs> yeah, he, well, he claimed he knew everything, that did, but he didn't know that much about a horse when he got yeah. there. Now, that's a fact. It's just, uh, I don't know, Jimmy. I, I, I get upset uh, about things happening. This weekend, we even had one gentleman in Alabama decided that he was tired of being targeted every time he'd lead a horse up there. This one, the MO would come and will inspect his horse. So from what I was told, he finally told her that he didn't want her to inspect his horse anymore, that he felt like he had been targeted. He said, let the other VMO. Well, this VMO, the one that he didn't want to inspect, it got upset and said, well, we're not even going to inspect your horse. Take it back. You ain't going to show. I told him when he asked me what I'd do, and I said, did the DQP pass you? Yes, DQP passed me. Did she inspect your horse? No, nope, she wouldn't inspect it. I said, I'd saddle that sucker up and rode him right into the ring because it, he was not turned down. He was not inspected, so they couldn't turn him down without inspecting him. The DQP passed him. He had a right to show. And, and just things like that, that it seems like they make their own rules as they go, and everybody's supposed to live with them, whether they like those rules or not. So we're going to watch some video. And here's some BPs from the Smokies. We got a couple of those. Mr. For Real, this is Paul Simmons. This is a super good guy. Now, he was reserved in his class, but he, he told Jimmy, he said, hey, I thought I did pretty good. He said, uh, why don't you see if you can do a little bit better? Paul may put on a heck of a show. I mean, that is one good horse. And right here, Jimmy said, well, let me try him around. <laughs> so Jimmy goes out and wins the open competition for mares and guilds. Jimmy McConnell. That, that's a good horse, Jimmy. That's one of arms deal for real horses. And then we got that, but we also got some video from the Southern Charity Championship. And I want to say it was a pleasure going down there. They, they, they put on a class act. They really do. Work hard, got great charity. So it's all good down there. So let's show the Southern Championship. Model class.
They started out with a good model class. Laurie Toon won it with 401k. I'm General Jackson and Deborah Sims was reserved in bingo with Chrome and Lisa McCarley finished out the ribbons. Laurie Toon's a pro at it, though. She'll get it done. Mr. Mike Sims. This is American Horse Services, HIO, that was down there, Mr. Curtis Pittman, which he did a fantastic job, really did. Where was this show held, Decatur? Decatur, Alabama. And wrecking horse, uh, all the location down there where just about every show, uh, the auxiliary's gonna be down there, the Alabama uh, Jubilee's gonna be there. Right there are two-year-old mares in Gill, and it's limited. There wasn't but two horses in this class but I'm here to tell you it was two good ones, two real good ones. Sky's Masterpiece and Tanner Book, Burks took the blue for Christy and Eddie Guthrie, for Ever Jose and Winky Groover, for Keith Hayes was reserved. That, that right there, that mare is going to go on to do some good things. I thought she made a super, super good show in East Tennessee and was reserved up there. Everybody's always a little cautious when they first show up. Can't tell what's going to happen. Being cautious because of the uh, oh yeah, inspection. because of the USDA. You, they showed up at one show, and uh, they said everything was, you know, pretty good. Now I talked to Curtis Pittman. He said that they wasn't out of line on a Friday night on this show. Now, I haven't talked to him through, since Saturday night, but Saturday night, the inspections seemed to get real slow. And uh, we were told, now whether it's true or not, we were told some people just said they got tired of waiting, just packed up and went on home. Especially when it's uh, cold outside and windy, people just don't want to sit around and wait. They want to get to moving. Now you'll notice as we go on that some of this has got two different camera shots. Here he is, Sky's Masterpiece in Tanner Burks for Eddie Guthrie. 
Christy wants to be in on that too. Now he made a hell of a show. Tanner's a good jockey, real good jockey. Four-year-old stallions. Now this, this, this right here is a trick because Edgar Abernathy took the blue in this, this class on a little shady with Edgar Abernathy and Ray Shoemate Tyser. Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd was reserved Zorro Jr., John Allen Calloway from Beth Beasley, Jose Azu, Azul for Winky Groover, with Winky Groover for Ted Dem's family was fourth. The good part about this little shady comes back and shows in the pony class later on. That's a pretty horse right there. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm a sucker for all of them, to tell you the truth. There's Zorro Jr. There, a little shady. That's Boone's Gin. Mike Floyd's horse. Good one. Got him flat walking, getting it done. Jimmy's always hot. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't slow down. He doesn't, does he? He's actually. We kidded him a lot, but he actually works hard. <laughs> That's a beautiful horse right there. I, I love that color. Winky will keep working with him, and he's going to be a piece of work before it's over with, I guarantee. There's your winner, a little shady, and Edgar Abernathy for race she made Tyson. We was switching pretty good on Friday night, but that ended Saturday night when our switcher would no longer switch. Yeah. We'll burn it up. I don't know whether I plugged it into too high a voltage or what, but it would not cooperate. So we had to go down to one camera, and, but we got it done. So I tell you, I believe we're going to go to commercial break and then come back and uh, we'll have some more video. 
So let's take a short pause, commercial, and we'll be right back. Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winter circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winter circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to continue with Friday night because we got video, video, video. They they had some great classes down. Yeah, there. I've been they, they really did. And Mike did, did a. I mean, I didn't agree with him all the time, but I agreed with him a lot of the time. Sometimes he he uh, he, he tied horses that just tickled people paint, but that's the way it goes when you're judging. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can make a lot of enemies doing that. Well, if you got 10 people in there, you're going to make nine enemies. Yeah. Right here is your country pleasure, and I'm going to tell you, habanero, picante, you can't beat that with a stick. And Kimberly was tickled to death. She told me, she said, I brought him home. said, we've changed him a little bit, and now he's, I'm, and more or less, she's, she's pretty much doing the training now. But she, she did a good job with him. And I'm going to tell you, the second place horse was pretty good, too. That, that, there was your second place horse. He's high maintenance. But Habadero Picante in this country pleasure ain't going to be easy to beat, fellas. Look there. He's been good for a few years, too. Yes, he has. Kimberly does well. I mean, she's got a good eye for a horse, a good feel for a horse. And Stephanie Morton does. Now, her, her husband big on raising some coats, but she says, I'm better in the saddle. And his high maintenance is pretty good. He's sired by 
Jen's black gin. That habanero picante, none other than Jose Jose. This is a fun class here, Jimmy. Now, people, people want to get in this industry and have a good time. You can show one of these horses three or four times at some shows. At the same show? Yes, sir, same show. Especially your woe and international shows of these over in Murfreesboro, Peter's shows. Especially this country pleasure. Then you got an all day pleasure. That all day pleasure, that's what it's all about, being able to ride that horse all day. Nice. Tommy and I would pick different horses sometimes, but we both picked that one. There he is, Habanero Picante and Kimberly Walden. You just don't get much better than that, Jimmy. That's a fact. Just, just smooth. That horse timed up perfect. Three-year-old mares and gildings. I'm gonna be honest, this is one that I disagreed with the judge. Class for Sass won the class with Tanner Burks in the saddle for Bill and Karen Bean. Black Dab, Jimmy McConnell for Regis Dormer. But I kinda liked Sister Sledge with Jerry Beatty. For rising star, I thought I thought she had real good play right there. She is real good presence in the class. Looked good all around. Honor the dollar, Gary Wayne Smith for Danny Jones. Oh Charlie, Jerry Gray's for Dr. Linda Gerard. Shady's busting loose, Edgar Abernath for Carol Shelton, and Majestic by the design, Sidarius Henry. For Thomas and Vicki Lynn Lund finished out the ribbons. There comes Jerry around, he's the one in the back.
I guess I am a little bit prejudiced because I sold that horse back to Debbie. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> but I did like her now. I, I really thought she made a great show. <clears throat> but I'm like everybody else. You're supposed to think your own horse won. Yeah. Even though you know in your heart that sometimes it didn't. There's a nice one. Sister Sledge, I thought, she, I thought she made a real good show. Did you name really? that horse? Huh? Did you name that no, horse? No, I, I named that horse Sable. Debbie uh -huh. changed it back because she's a full sister to uh, Kathy's horse. And uh, they just figured it would be by Felicia. So they said, we'll just make this one Sister Sledge. She's going to get better. You're all those people in the background. Right. We were getting conversations from both sides of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> right there was your winner. A good horse. A sister sledge. And I really liked, I really liked her. I thought she, I thought she did real well. I want everybody to know I did own a good horse at one time. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought she was pretty, pretty snazzy myself. I mean, I, I'm I, sure it does feel good when a horse you raised it does. Well, it, it does. I mean, I've got I've got some that are doing real well, but but that one right there, I, Debbie and I made a deal on her, and I got her, and uh, then she won in Fedville, and Frank come and he wanted her back, so. We, uh, we he hauled back and forth, and they ended up with a horse back. Right here is your lead line in Alabama. Connor Vanderven won the lead line class, and Hook Bush was reserved. Old Jerry, he's up there getting her done. That boy's got a smile on his face. <laughs> Jerry looks pretty good out there too, don't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs>
Right here, I'm going to tell you what, there was a statement made about this young man, Jimmy, and, and I kind of liked it. The guy told me, he said, he looks like a little trainer. Oh. But, but Bob Badcock and I was talking about him. Now look at him set up there. That is Eli Cunningham on It's a Medalist. And there's Ali Joe Jacobs on I'm Coach Cal. She, she's riding like Lee Stewart has taught her. That young man right there is riding like he means business. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I love to watch these kids when they're in the arena because they, they're having a good time. Everybody else, all these parents, they get serious. They're out there having a good time. And that little boy right there, now, I've watched him show a bunch of times, and he uh, he can get it done. And he can flat set a horse. What they're going to hear from that little man for all year long. I can grant you that. Lemon Underwinter, it's the medalist. And Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. sitting there with them hands just getting it done. Good ride. Racking Action Specialty Class. Cowboy Defender was the winner of this class. With Mackenzie Lawrence in the saddle for J.D. and Ginger Evans. Hijacked in Nicaragua. Bo Wright for Jason Brown. The master switch, Gary Wayne Smith for J.D. Smith. And the finish line, Jamie Lawrence for Billy Radcliffe, Radford Hester. Now here's the significance in this reason, one reason we wanted to show it. Jamie is Mackenzie's father. No kidding. And she put a whipping on him. <laughs> and don't think Jamie ain't trying to beat her. <laughs> there she is. Buddy, she's, she's getting it done. Jamie, she's done got you, buddy. You can ride hard all you want to. I believe she's done. Won't help at this point. Will no, it? I don't think it's gonna help him now. But 
But that, that has to give you a real good feeling inside to, when you go out there and you, your child beats you at something. I know it always tickled me when mine get, pull that stuff on me. Daughter Mackenzie is a super good rider, super good. There she is, Cowboy Defender, Rack and Action Specialty Champion winner, Cowboy Defender in Mackenzie Lawrence for JD and Ginger Evans. There she comes. There she is. That's Daddy congratulating her to, to the winner. Congratulations. I like that. That is That's good. pretty cool, yeah. Hey, I, I thought it was neat. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. Cause right. she, she made a whale of a show. Yeah. She really did. You couldn't ask for anything better. She went out there and, and she just did real, real good. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to break for a commercial. I believe we are. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I had a knee replacement, so they have got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a few more classes, so let's get to them. We're going to watch some good ones. This is amateur ponies here. Now this was a great class, absolutely great. Bob Adcock won it on a kingpin, but Little Shady made a great show too with Ray Shoemate Tyson. Now you gotta understand this horse done showed once. There's Bob, he's doing great. Little Shady and Ray Shoemate Tyson was reserved. Tony Tango. And Perry Linton, and me and my world, Ann Bingham, finished out the ribbon. Little Shady had won with Edgar in the four-year-old class. There's Bob, great little pony right there. Right there's Ray. I tell you what, now she can, she, Ray can flat ride. All right, take it easy. Go to the front of the 
There, Ray again. Tell you what, that's a walking little pony right there. Super good little pony. She wins quite a few through quite a few blue ribbons too. And he's tearing it up, but going up through there. Pinned as you winner. But little Shady, she had her share of the people screaming for her too. She made a great show. Ray Shoemate Tasser. She sets a great saddle too. Yes, she does. She does, and she knows how to set up in that saddle. Right here is your four-year-old mares and gildings. Quite an honor, and John Allen Calloway took the blue for Beth Beasley. And no shame in my game, Gary Edwards. For Linda Mixon. That's a heck of a name. No shame in my game. Yeah, it's kind of different. I don't think it I've is different. Like that before. Very different. <clears throat> Beth was sitting down in front of us. She's a little under the weather, though. That chill in the air kind of got to her. There's John Allen. That's a big, pretty mare there. Quite an honor. There's your winner, quite an honor, in John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. Right here's your park performance amateur. Now you're talking about a heated competition. This one right here got it right. I am you know, and Jake Jacobs took the blue. People on that live stream was calling the winners, won't know which one was which, and one lady said it's the man on the black horse all the way. <laughs> Mucho Pavo and Kim Leonard was reserved. Offensive line, Dr. Ann Ray. Game, set, match. Ella Abernathy and Jose's perfect hawk, Macy, Sp Macy Spreewell. But it was Jake Jacobs and I'm You Know all the way. Great show. And I'm gonna tell you, that Macho, Macho Bravo, that's one good horse. Kim's proud of him, I know. She needs to be. So, made a good show. Most of the people that were calling in was calling for one of them to win. Either Jake on You Know or Kim on Pavo. That's one good thing about live streams. You can sort of communicate with the. Oh, the we, we was having some great conversations with people. And I want to remind everybody the show's still up on Facebook. It'll stay up there for a few days. There's Kim. There's Jake.
Dr. Ann Ray. But I'm gonna have to say, Jake and Kim, they, they had two of the best. They were battling it out. And there's your winner. I am, you know, Jake Jacobs for Houghton and Jacobs. Mark Performance Amateur winner. Chip Walters was the announcer in Alabama. He always does a great job. Jerry, Jake Jacobs, and I am you know. That's a good show down there. Yes. I want to remind everybody, while we still got a couple of seconds, the Fast Spring Showcases this weekend, 15th and 16th at the Cal Sonic. Call uh, Sarah Smith at 931-580-5085. Judges, Robert Cortner, Rod Schlegel, Sam Sorrow, and they added a youth pony class, 11A, plus the Easter egg hunt. Now that's gonna be fun. The Easter egg hunt, it was sponsored by Jason and Shanna Hughes. It's gonna be upstairs in the Cal Sonic. They'll be up there, kids running everywhere, people trying to dig it out of their pockets. <laughs> hide, hide them eggs, buddy. Yeah, hide it would be a lot eggs. of fun, yeah. One lady, we were talking about Easter egg hunting, just one lady said, when you get our age, you can go hide the eggs yourself 30 minutes. You won't remember, you won't where, remember you, where you put you them. You won't yeah. remember where all the eggs are. Just go ahead and go. Yeah. With it. That's about the, they asked me the other day, they said, how old are you? And I said, well, I'm older than biscuit and gravy and almost as old as pinto beans and corn. I'm, I'm right in the, you know, right there close between them. Yeah, that's pretty old too, folks. Well, you're older than I am. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, I know. Well, you know, I'll attest to that. You, you did a good job replacing Tommy. Yeah, it's, well. I'll have to call and tell him. Well, it's easy when you work with either you or Tommy because y'all know everything. So it's now, pretty Tommy much. Tommy knows everything. You just I'm, sit here. I try to. We will see everybody next week with another episode of What a Horse. All Have right. a good Thanks weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.